Patients with hypoxemia can present with all kinds of signs and symptoms. Dyspnea and tachypnea are fairly obvious ones, but less obvious ones include chest pain or tightness, tachycardia, abdominal discomfort, or nausea or vomiting, all of which can result from tissue hypoxia accompanying the hypoxemia. And alterations in mental status, including lethargy, confusion, agitation, and hallucinations can each signify hypoxia as well. Cyanosis, which refers to the bluish discoloration of the skin, is an insensitive indicator of hypoxia or hypoxemia because clinically evident cyanosis usually doesn't occur until the concentration of deoxygenated hemoglobin reaches 5 grams per deciliter. And also the absence of dyspnea or tachypnea don't exclude hypoxemia either. Now on the flip side, the presence of dyspnea or tachypnea don't always indicate respiratory failure either, even when severe. Instead, they might represent a respiratory response to a metabolic process, like thyrotoxicosis, fever, compensation for a metabolic acidosis, or a reaction to pain or anxiety.